Go to Brands from the side navbar and locate your brand. Click on the three dots and click on Edit. Now click on Connect Ad Accounts tab. Here, make sure you have either or both Facebook and TikTok account and Pixel connected. Once connected, go to Mark tag and click on Create your first tag container. Now, enter your domain and press Next. You will find a DNS record. Copy and save this record. Now we will add the record. Go to your domain registrar. We are using root 53. The process is similar for other domain registrars. Click on the hosted zones. Find your domain and click on it. Now click on create record. Copy the name and paste it in record name. Since root 53 adds the domain name itself, so we can remove that part. Set the record type to txt and paste the value for the record in the value text box. Then click create records and it's added. Now go back to Marco Polo and click on verify tag. If it doesn't work, wait for a bit and press the verify button again. Once it's verified, you will receive another record that you need to add to your domain registrar in the same way. Copy the record and paste it in the record name field. We will remove the domain name part like before. In other domain registers, you might not need to remove the domain name part. Change the record type to a record and paste the record value in the record value field. Then click on create records. Go back to Marco Polo and click verify record again. Once it's verified, your server setup is complete. After that, you will receive a code snippet that you need to set up on your website to start tracking events. Now let's set up the tags properly to start tracking events. We have our site on Webflow, so we will demonstrate how you can install it in your Webflow site. The setup is similar whether your website is built using WordPress or React or anything else as long as you have access to edit the website code. The setup tag scripts go inside your head tag in your website. You will need some basic understanding of HTML and JavaScript to implement the tag for different events. We will show you a demonstration installing a contact tag on our website. Now, this is our webflow page. Let's go to the settings for our project. Then, go to custom code and paste the copied code here and save. Let's go back to Marco Polo and go to Dashboard for our tag. Click on Server Setup. Here you'll find the instruction and code snippets for different events. We will use the Event Payload Builder to build the event payload. Let's select Contact, then fill in the values for the parameters with some value. This will be dynamically filled in when we will install it. Let's copy the payload and go back to Webflow. Let's open our site in Designer. From left navbar, go to Pages and find the contact page. On this page, we have a form. Whenever a user fills it in, we want that event to be sent to different pixels. For this, we need to have a unique ID for each input field in the form. Let's note the IDs, we will need this later. Then submit button should have an unique ID too. Once we have copied the IDs, open pages and look for contact page again and click on the gear button. From there, let's scroll down and find the text box 
for before body tag. We will add our script here and using some basic JavaScript, we are getting the value for email and the phone fields. We replace the hard coded field values with the JavaScript code to get the values dynamically. We are using the ads we copied before. We added an event listener to the button to send event to mark tag on submission. Let's save and publish the updates. Now let's come back to our mark tag dashboard. We can see it has successfully sent the contact events to Facebook as well as the view contact or page views. We can add more platforms. We're adding TikTok. Now, all the events that we have set up will be sent to both Facebook and TikTok pixels.